Fire Emblem Engage releases in two weeks. It's an exciting time for Effie players of all kinds, from completely new to the series fans, familiar fans, and veterans alike. And there's a part of Engage's hype that I never really appreciated until I had a couple of recent real-life experiences that inspired me to write this script. So this is going to be a super quick, kind of story time video talking about how appealing Engage really is to new and old fans. But before we start, a quick word from my Patreon. If you've been supporting my content for a while and want to support even more, please check out my Patreon linked below. Hang out, get behind the scenes videos, exclusive Q&As, and Discord chats, and get to know my private community. In case you didn't know, I just moved cities and it's been a straining and expensive process to get the essentials, furniture, and so on. Any contribution to help soften the blow of the move would go a long way. I will also be live streaming Engage on my streaming channel, and I stream several times a week already, so if you want to catch me live, check out the streaming channel here on YouTube. Now, let's get started with the video. Pre-order sales data from Japanese retailer ComG provides day-to-day -day comparisons leading up to the game's release. For context, ComG is a chain of retailers in Japan which have a 0.1% market share. One pre-order at ComG roughly translates to 1,000 pre-orders. Back in November, I remarked on how Engage was often double and tripling Three Houses' pre-orders and was set to eclipse it eventually. Well, that time came and went. On December 23rd, it reached the milestone of more than doubling its predecessor's pre-order numbers, which with like 30 days to go. In other words, oh my gosh, Engage is going to be a huge success for the series as far as first week's sales go there. I initially just speculated that the appeal to nostalgia slash the celebratory nature of the game and just general series popularity since Three Houses were big reasons for this, and I mean, yeah, they are. But something I started to realize recently was how marketable the game sounds to someone who isn't getting drawn in by nostalgia at all. When I tweeted and posted on my community tab if Engage was people's 1st to 17th or 18th if you're feeling cheeky and count BSFE, I got a ton of diverse answers. You got stories of all kinds from their 2nd after 3 houses, or like their 9th and they've never played a non-western released one, or mega vets who played every game in the series to completion. But one answer I barely got was it being someone's first Fire Emblem game ever. Ever. Now obviously the main reason for this is because if you never played Fire Emblem, it's very unlikely my posts would ever reach out to you, especially on my community tab. But fans of the series start from somewhere, and clearly this game is set to be a huge hit. But how is a game that is cashing in on nostalgia supposed to appeal to fans who, say, never played the Kaga era games? How is a game like this going to appeal to fans who never played Fire Emblem to begin with? There are just common sense answers to this of course. It's still a new, heavily advertised in Japan at least, game of the month for Nintendo. Still a game from a very, very high-selling series, it looks incredibly promising gameplay-wise, has appealing character design, mileage may vary on this one, and is just outright a gorgeously polished game for the Switch. The nostalgia bit still appeals to fans of the games they actually played, and for the games they haven't, the intrigue and accessibility to find out who these other lords actually are, especially if you don't play Fae, is a huge factor. Yeah, someone may not have played FE5 and has no idea who Leaf is or what he did, but he looks cool, and everyone who knows Leaf can only talk about how effing epic and badass he is, so you want to learn more. But say you know someone who isn't paying any attention to any of that stuff. A gamer who likes video games but isn't on Twitter or hasn't seen a single trailer about Engage, and knowing it's that series about anime and chess, they think? Maybe they tried Three Houses for a bit and lost track and dropped the game. What does Engage do for them? Well, answering this question is precisely why I was inspired to write something like this. Because that very thing happened to me the other day, and the response I got was pretty enlightening and sort of weirdly wholesome. I think a lot of die-hard fans and chronically online people, I am both of these, regrettably, sometimes forget that media of all kinds from video games, anime, or Netflix series is, reach far beyond the enthusiastic online fandom. Fire Emblem means something different for me than it does to my new neighbor with two sons who asked what I play for a living and is now going to see if his kids have heard it. Having to explain Fire Emblem as a concept to someone who doesn't even play video games is actually pretty easy nowadays. It's like chess, if you moved your entire board at the same time and each piece was actually a character that you got to know and the story is like Game of Thrones. Here's the catch, I never even watched an episode of Game of Thrones in my life, but people think Game of Thrones is like 
dragons and swords and winter is coming? I don't fucking know. It works. And now that guy knows what Fire Emblem is. As the resident Fire Emblem guy in my friend group, I am sometimes asked questions like, what's your favorite FE game? Who is your favorite character? Which game should I play? And nowadays, should I get FE Engage? And should I start with Engage or something else? And similar to the dad with his two sons, Engage is like on a similar level of easy to explain. First of all, should you start with Fire Emblem Engage? In case someone is watching and has never played FE in their lives, in which case, hello. Yes, absolutely. Engage may be Three Houses' successor and maybe the 17th mainline Fire Emblem game, but Engage is going to be a fresh take on classic looking FE gameplay. It is said to have a simple story which is easy to follow along, visually vibrant and appealing characters with easy to understand tropes which will most likely be more fleshed out and interesting the more time you spend with them. And on the gameplay front, the accessibility mechanics will make someone's first playthrough forgiving, with the opportunity to test your newfound abilities with harder difficulties. And as for the gameplay, a lot of player-focused options, like emblem skills to make the gameplay feel fresh and addictive, as well as a big lobby section to quite literally hang out with these characters too. But the especially fun part about Engage, new players will learn about the legacy, the lords, the other main characters of Fire Emblem. They will interact with them, get to know them through their dialogue and mechanics, and will develop an appreciation for these old characters that they've never even played with, let alone seen before. I told my Smash Ultimate buddy, quite literally, it's like Fire Emblem All-Stars, and his face lit up with intrigue. Intelligent Systems does not expect its entire audience, especially their international one, to be familiar with Sigurd, Leaf, or even Micaiah, the former two being from games never internationally released, and the latter being from a game that sold relatively poorly compared to the other international releases. Nintendo of Japan released an 8 minute tutorial on how to play the game like a week ago, which should tell you enough that they want to appeal to both new, familiar, and veteran players. This personally excites me, because unlike Echoes, Fates, or Three Houses, I could couldn't really sell people on those games as efficiently. Echoes is a remake of the second game which had really really jank mechanics. Fates was its own entity consisting of three games with each of them having different appeal. So it's not that I could confidently say just play Conquest or play Birthright. Maybe they're looking for a good story or good gameplay. This is sort of similar to Three Houses as well. What premise sounds better to them? Crimson Flower, Azure Moon, Verdant Wind? What's more fun? How am I supposed to know what to tell them? What do you want me to do? ask questions? Engage is one story, one path. That's it. It's funny how relatively simple it is to explain to someone. And it may sound weird, but as a series veteran, dude, it is great. I've had a ton of fun explaining the premise of Engage to completely new potential players. I do wish Nintendo would make this easier for me by translating more official trailers from Japanese to English, but it is what it is. At the end of the day, Engage is set to be a massive commercial hit for intelligent systems, and with it coming just around the corner, I am getting more and more excited to talk about the game to gamers familiar and not familiar familiar with Fire Emblem. And that will do it for today's video. Will Engage be your first, second, third, or 17th mainline Fire Emblem game? Do you have any fun stories yourself about explaining Fire Emblem to your friends in the past? Let me know down below. And please leave a like on this video to help boost its engagement for the algorithm. It does, in fact, help the video get in front of more new faces. And once again, if you'd like to support the channel, check out my Patreon. And if you want to see me live, check out my streaming channel. That's all for today. Deuces.